at you all the way from our dorm rooms to your conference rooms. Sabo Lee and Dan Tiemann here are two college students who are ready to talk to you guys about business and lifestyle from our personal experiences. Each week we'll discuss about our lifestyle as college students as well as our tips and strategies starting in the business field. We'll bring on successful entrepreneurs in the millennial generation to share with us their journey and how they got started and where they're at now. Our goal is to help you students, millennials, and entrepreneurs gain inspirational advice by our spontaneous conversations and meaningful guidance. Let's dive on in. What's going on everyone? Welcome to episode 31 of Dorm Rooms and Conference Rooms. Sub and I have a special episode out here for you today talking about pivoting and changing circumstances in life and being able to do what you want, being able to change those circumstances. Saba, how are you today? I'm doing great. I'm really excited to talk about this topic just because, especially in college, the field of entrepreneurship and stuff like that, there's so many changes that we have to like run into and it just like comes all of a sudden. So I'm really excited that we're talking about that today. Yeah, guys, it's really being able to change in life, being able to, you know, pivot is what they call it in business and being able to change your circumstances if you're not happy. There were so many times throughout the, you know, my, you know, 20 something years of life right now that I've had to be able to change my circumstances and make myself happier. Mainly in the past four years of college, being, you know, transferring from one school to the next is not an easy option. It's actually really, really hard because you don't know if you're going to like the next school either. You don't know if, you know, you're going to you know, succeed there, what it's going to be like when you get there, especially when you used to play football full time. Now you're playing lacrosse as well. Just things like that. Like you really have to change for what you want to do, and what you think is going to be better. Saba, what's a time in your life that you had to change your circumstances because you just were not happy? Yeah. So this is, has like nothing to do with business or anything, but this was when I was in high school, I had like a really bad relationship I was in that relationship for like about four years, could not get out of it. But that's like something that I really wanted to like change in my life. And I know a lot of people who have been in my position also when you're in a relationship, been in there for like a couple of years, it's really just hard to get out of that one, even when you know that's really affecting your life, like in a negative way. So for me, it was really hard to just get over that little speed bump in my life and just like take a pivot and just get out of that relationship. I know... I mean, you're in college for, or you're in high school for four years. It took me that long to get out of that relationship. So once I graduated high school, came to college, I was finally out of it. So I know a lot of my friends, um, they were in that position also, but like really having that change, it really developed me to the person that I am today. So, I mean, it was really a great thing that I had to do in order to like get to where I'm at right now. Yeah, and something that I've heard throughout the years, it's a good quote. I don't know exactly who it's by, but if the plan doesn't work, change the plan, but never the goal. Just because like the plan didn't work out and me going to my old college, it just didn't go over as it's, you know, as planned. Flat out and I didn't enjoy myself. I didn't like it there. I wasn't having a good time and college is only a four year experience and I want to make sure my you know, I have a happy four years. So the plan obviously or the goal was to graduate college. The plan was to go to St. Norbert and graduate. Well, you know, I changed the plan, ended up going to St. Ambrose now, where it's so much easier. And in life, this happens all the time. Like, you have this end goal, but it's a zigzag path. It's not exactly straight as you thought. And that's how it's going in business right now with Hector and I. Hector and I, you know, have the main goal of being able to help local businesses, you know, put their business on Facebook and different digital marketing platforms to really increase revenue and sales and things like that. But well, we found out that it's super hard to tap into the chiropractic market right now just because they're being bombarded with so much information from different marketers thanks to different types of digital marketers just you know taking over that area. So instead, we're pivoting and completely changing our clientele and we're going to start going after you know different realtors, different lawyers, different home, home service businesses and things like that just because we feel like that's going to be better for our business end. We're going to get a lot better response rate. But you have to be able to make that change in life. So many times people in business or in life just set, you know, the goal of doing one thing and this is the plan and they're not willing to change the plan when it goes awry or something doesn't go, you know, exactly as you thought. And that's something they're not willing to accept. They think that if it doesn't go the way they thought, then they're just going to have to accept it and deal with it. Not being able to really pivot and change in life because there's so many things in life that you need to be able to change on the fly for in order to make it work. 
Yeah, and I feel like a lot of people, they get scared by the fact that if something doesn't work right, that they just drop it and run away. And, like, that's something that a lot of people, like, don't know. Like, they shouldn't be doing that just because, I mean, like, your idea, your goal, your business plan, whatever it is, it's probably such a great idea, but you just might need to take a different approach on it. And this other quote that I really like is giving up on your goal because of one setback is like slashing your other three tires because you got, like, one flat tire. And that, that, like, makes sense. Like, obviously, you wouldn't slash your other tires if you have a car because you just need to change it. So that's, like, the same with, I mean, like, a business or if you're – I don't know, starting a podcast show like what Dan and I did. I mean, there's got to be some changes throughout the entire process and doing that can really help you in the future. And I know Dan and I, like we started our accelerator program. In the beginning, we had a model of like a $500 approach, like a monthly thing, but then we changed it to like a subscription type of thing for only $25. I mean, in the beginning, it wasn't working out that well because we weren't getting enough sales and stuff like that, but then just really changing it really helped us for that. Yeah, and I mean, bringing this back to college, because this is something you and I can relate to heavily. So many people fail that class or get a D in that class, and they think they're like college curse over. They didn't get into the grad school they wanted to, and they're all, you know, they go to the view that why do I, you know, I shouldn't go to grad school. I didn't get in where I want to go, and it's just a terrible approach to view it. You have to view that, you know, it's a setback. It is what it is, and you just got to move on from there, you know. When you get that D in that class or that F in the class, that your world's not going to end, that really it's okay. People fail at things, and failures make us who we are. So you got to just keep pushing through even after when you have those failures. So you definitely can't take the approach where if you fail once, you might as well just give up and never go back at it. You know, something that, you know, it, it would almost go back to the quote you said, Saba. If I gave up in college after my first semester when I got a D, some C's, you know, a B or something like that, to really pull off that good old 1.75 that I got, <laughs> I would be going, you know, I'd be going nowhere. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to do anything. So really, I would have just given up and I wouldn't have been having this goal of completing college. Like I would never be in the position where I am in a month from now. I'll be walking across the stage, accepting my degree, you know, get, hey, watching my mom be so proud of me and things like that. Like it's crazy to think about. I'm not saying that the people who do bad in college or do, you know, are doing terrible that, you know, it's not a bad thing if you want to drop out and start your business or something like that. But if you have the goal to really, you want to complete college for whatever that reason may be, you got to stay with it. You just got to power through it. You got to go get those tutors. You got to get help. Help's another big thing too. Like you got to find someone who's already doing what you want to do and then go from there. So Saba and I, like we talked about before for mentors, we found Brandon T. Adams for, you know, when we want to start getting more of a name for ourselves. For when it comes to digital marketing, I found Dan Vega. I've done, I found Arnie Gitsky. I've talked to so many people within that community that really I've been able to, you know, produce myself at a much higher rate and be able to get a return a lot faster than possible. You know, if I would, was doing this on my own, just learning as I go, because I get to learn from their failures. So definitely you just got to find a different roadmap to, you know, your successful goal at the end. Definitely. And especially adapting to change and like pivoting is a really great like skill and aspect to have in your life. Because I know even like after you do graduate, if you do get a job or something, I know in my field and my career, um, like one main thing that they look for is like being able to change, especially like in the fashion industry, things are changing so rapidly. You just got to keep up with it. And if that's not like your style, your personality, like it's not going to work for you. And I know like that's probably in like business also like finance account, like whatever it is you're trying to do, like being prone to like change and like pivoting and stuff like that. So it's just a really great skill to have in like business, your life, like your friends, like things happen so suddenly and, like, in order to get over that, you just need to, like, take a breather and just, like, change whatever it is that you're doing for the best. And, like, you know, life happens as well. I mean, personally, I know Saba and I both lost a parent each. I lost my dad. And, Saba, you lost your mom, correct? And it's a, it's a struggle. It's really a hard thing to go through. And that's something that's near and dear to our hearts. But it's something we didn't shut down about. Like, so many people, when they lose somebody close to them, they shut down. They go through terrible times. And Saba and I were able to pivot, pick ourselves up and just keep moving forward. Like it's such a rough experience going through that so young that, you know, you don't know how that young, you know, young guy or girl is going to react to it, but we were strong enough to keep moving on, keep going through it. So it's something that, you know, you really have to do in in life because you never know what's going to happen in life. Life just comes at you and you got to be able to handle it as it comes, but you got to be able to adjust to it as well. 
Because if you don't adjust, you're going to sink. You're going to drown in the waters. Yeah, and then going back to like what you said, Dan, like ask for help. That's what other people are there for. It's to help you throughout like these bumps or if like you don't know what to do with your business or a project that you are working on. I know for me, I mean, for my book, especially like I just came out with that book, but I had to make so many changes. Like I couldn't think of a title. I just couldn't figure out what I want to write for my topics in the really beginning. Like it was just so hard. And like, I kind of like almost want to give up because I just didn't really know exactly what I want to write about. But I had some of my friends help me help brainstorm like the titles I want and stuff like that. It just made it so much easier. So really just talk to other people, have them help you and just allow them to like just work with you throughout like whatever it is that you were dealing with right now. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I can't, you know, I can attest that so much asking for help. I've gotten so many tutors throughout my year of college. I've gotten I've asked people who've done my major for help. I've asked professors, even when say you don't want to go into entrepreneurship, but you're looking for that job. Like you got to ask for help from professors. You got to ask help from people around you and definitely tap into your network. You got to use all these things while pivoting and while you're changing your life and you'll really be successful. But guys, thank you for listening to us today. You can find us at dr2cr.com and you can find us more directly at sabahali.com. You can find myself at danielteeman.com. Saba, what are some final words? Yeah, guys, so definitely just keep on pushing. If you guys need to make a change in your life or in your business, just do so. Don't give up just because you ran over like a little speed bump that you have. Just keep on going. Make that pivot, and then you guys will really be happy at the end. But thank you guys for listening today on Dorm Rooms to Conference Rooms. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of Dorm Rooms and Conference Rooms. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you haven't joined our accelerator program yet, you can find that at livedegrind.com forward slash college, where we connect you with today's latest influencers and experts in their fields.